Module 3. Drilling String. By the end of this module, you will have a good understanding of the function of the drill string, and should be able to identify and describe drill pipes, drill collars, heavyweight drill pipes, bottom hole assembly, and have a good knowledge of drill pipes inspection and drill string design. The drill string means the tubulars and the accessories used to run the drill bit to the bottom. The drill string is composed of drill pipe, heavyweight drill pipe, drill collars and other components like stabilizers and drilling jars. There are many functions of the drill string, among them. Suspend the drill bit. Transmit the rotary motion from the Kelly or top drive to the drill bit. Provide a flow path to circulate drilling fluids. Drill pipes, essential in the drilling process, consist of seamless pipes and tool joints. Seamless pipes provide structural integrity, while tool joints connect the pipes, enhancing overall durability and functionality. Several critical factors contribute to the stress and potential failure of drill pipes, necessitating careful assessment and management. Torque, the rotational force applied to the drill string, crucial for effective drilling but demanding careful monitoring to prevent excessive stress. Fatigue, drill pipes endure repeated loading and unloading cycles, making fatigue a key consideration. Proper maintenance and material selection are essential to mitigate fatigue-related failures. Tension, tension forces on drill pipes can be significant during drilling operations. Ensuring that the pipes can withstand these forces without compromising structural integrity is imperative. Corrosion, exposure to harsh drilling environments can lead to corrosion threatening the integrity of the drill pipes. Corrosion-resistant materials and effective corrosion control measures are crucial. Cyclic stress, the repetitive nature of drilling induces cyclic stress on the pipes, emphasizing the importance of materials with high fatigue resistance and design considerations that account for cyclic loading. Understanding and addressing these stress and failure factors are pivotal in maintaining the reliability and longevity of drill pipes during oil and gas exploration activities. The drill pipe constitutes the majority of the drill string length. It is seamless with threaded connections. The drill pipe has two tool joints, one female is called a box and the other male is called pin. The outer diameter of the tool joint is larger than the body of the drill pipe to accommodate the threads. One drill pipe is called a single or a joint. The drill pipe must be measured on rig site to get accurate length of drill pipe. The drill pipe can be classified according to many parameters such as length, diameter, weight, upset and grade of steel. There are many factors which can influence drill pipe selection. Hole size. Pipe availability. Hoisting capacity. Circulating and drilling parameters. Casing and cementing requirements. The dimensions of the drill pipe are specified by the American Petroleum Institute, API. There are three ranges of length. Range 1, 18 to 22 feet. Range 2, 27 to 30 feet. Range 3, 38 to 45 feet. Range 2 is the most commonly used on rig sites. The weight of the drill pipe mentioned in manuals is called weight in air. When drill pipe is in the well, it has to be taken in consideration the buoyancy force which is related to density of the drilling fluid. The weight of the drill pipe when run in the well can be calculated as follows. Buoyant weight equals weight of pipe in air times buoyancy factor. The drill pipe is manufactured in variety of weights, diameters, and also material grades. The drill pipe is characterized by burst, collapse, tensile, and torsional strength. These specifications are used to select the appropriate drill pipe for a particular drilling operation. The strength of the drill pipe can be defined according to Pipe body yield strength, it can be presented by the resistance of the pipe body to the axial tension. Collapse resistance, it is presented by the ability of the drill pipe to resist to the external pressure. Internal yield pressure, it represents the ability of the pipe to withstand the internal pressure. Torsional yield, it is the resistance to the torque. The level of these types of strength is related to the grade of steel used to manufacture the pipe and other parameters such as the drill pipe size and weight per unit of length. 
Tool Joints The tool joints provide screw threads in order to connect drill pipes together. The seal is guaranteed by the shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder connections between pin and box. Hard-facing material is welded on the surface to protect the tool joint from abrasive wear when rotating drill string in the borehole or when making connection by rig tongs. This layer of hard-facing material can be replaced in workshops when it becomes depleted due to excessive wear. The internal diameter of the tool joint is less than the internal diameter of main body. The same stresses applied on the drill pipe during drilling operations are subjected on the tool joint, but also there are other additional issues. During operations, frequent engagement of box and pins can be done harshly which can damage the threads. When tripping out of the hole, the last tool joint support all the weight of the string beneath it. Drill Collars The functions of drill collars are Provide stiffness for directional control Provide the required weight on bit while drilling Maintain drill string in tension which reduces bending and fatigue failures Special collar types includes Spiral, Square, and Monel Drill collars have larger outer diameter and smaller inner diameter than drill pipe. The connection thread of a drill collar can be machined directly on the body due to the large wall thickness. In order to prevent failure, correct makeup torque has to be applied. It is very important to handle drill collars carefully. Shoulders and threads should be lubricated with lubricant containing 40% to 60% of metallic zinc powder. Similarly to drill pipe, drill collars are subjected to different stresses caused by tension, vibration, bending and buckling forces, alternate tension and compression. There are other types of drill collars used for special operations. Spiral drill collars are used to avoid stuck while drilling through highly porous formation. The stuck can occur when high overbalanced of mud pressure is applied or while drilling high deviated wells. Among the methods used to minimize the risk of differential sticking is reducing the contact area between the collars and wellbore. Spiral grooves are cut on collars in order to reduce the surface contact. Non-magnetic collars This type of collars is used to isolate survey instruments from magnetic distortion caused by the steel of the drill string. The magnetic distortion can affect the directional instrument functioning. Heavyweight drill pipes Heavyweight drill pipe has a greater wall thickness if we compare it with the wall thickness of ordinary drill pipe. The heavyweight drill pipe is used between drill collars and drill pipe to minimize the stresses caused by the high level of difference in stiffness. The main benefit of using the heavyweight drill pipe is absorbing the stresses being transferred from the drill collars to the drill pipe. Heavyweight drill pipe is used instead of drill pipe where the stresses concentration is important. These stresses are due to The sharp difference in cross-section between the drill pipe and drill collars. The difference in stiffness between the drill pipe and drill collars. The bouncing caused by the bit while drilling. Bottom Hole Assembly The Bottom Hole Assembly, BHA, is the components used above the bit without taking in consideration the drill pipe. It is composed of Stabilizers reduce buckling and wobble, provide higher weight on bit, and prevent pipe stuck. Roller reamers maintain gauge hole. Shock subs absorb bouncing. Jars are used to free stuck pipe. Stabilizers are piece of pipe with blades machined on the external surface. The blades can be spiral or straight, normally they are three blades. They have many functions. Reducing bending and buckling stresses on drill collars. Remaining the string in concentric position which allows higher weight on bit. Preventing stuck by differential sticking. Roller reamers are employed in boring operations for the oil and gas industry. The main function of roller reamers cut earth formations to enlarge the borehole to the desirable size during well drilling operation, which may be the original size of the drill bit in the case where the drill bit wears to be undergaged. A shock sub is used to dampen the vibration caused by the bit while drilling hard formation. 
It is normally located above the drilling bit to minimize stresses due to bit bouncing. The shock sub absorbs the vertical vibrations using a steel spring. Reducing bit bouncing has many advantages, extending bit life by reducing impact on teeth, avoid string failures, and reduce damage to surface equipment. Drilling jars are very important pieces of equipment that have to be used in any drill string. They are used to free the string if any stuck pipe is faced. They are activated by a straight pull and provide an upward blow. The sharp motion or blow can shake the string and free it. The drilling jar is placed above the drill collars and it is not recommended to work in compression. Drill Pipes Inspections The drill pipe specifications are very important but cannot give us information about the pipe condition and for this reason a physical inspection is crucial in drilling operations. The inspection can be simple as visual inspection to more sophisticated inspection using a sonic and gamma ray tools. Fatigue is considered as the main source of drill pipe failure. It can be defined as the failure originates from a cyclic or fluctuating stresses at maximum values, less than the tensile strength of the used metal. These stresses are caused by bending, torsion, vibration and tension and can be increased by corrosion and erosion. Drill pipe inspection can involve Magnetic particle inspection to locate cracks Measurement of wall thickness Outside diameter measurement Tool joints inspection involves Outside diameter measurement Checking shoulders and looking for any type of wear Checking the thread profile and looking for any over-torqued areas in gold threads Drill string design Drill string design refers to the process of selecting and configuring the components that make up the drill string, which is the pipe assembly used to transmit drilling fluid and torque to the drill bit during the drilling process. Proper drill string design is crucial for achieving efficient and effective drilling operations. Design Considerations A well-designed drill string is instrumental in optimizing penetration rates, controlling wellbore deviation, maintaining an engage hole, and avoiding drilling problems. Its components need to be strong enough to withstand high stresses and hostile operating conditions, but also lightweight enough for efficient handling. Typically, the rate of penetration rises with higher weight on bit, within specified operating limits. The design and placement of drill string components depend on the desired and practical weight for specific conditions. Wellbore deviation is a natural consequence of the rotary drilling process. It can be a particular problem in dipping formations and other intervals that exhibit crooked hole tendencies. These can lead to stuck pipe, difficulty in running casing, and future production problems. Controlling wellbore deviation is a major drill string design consideration in both directional and non-directional wells. Major concerns include Dog legs, which are abrupt changes in the hole angle Key seats, which are slots worn into the side of the borehole by the drill string Hard or abrasive formations, sloughing formations, or heaving shales, may result in hole diameters considerably less than the bit diameter. This undergauge condition can lead to such problems as stuck pipe and an inability to run casing. Selection of the right drill string tools can alleviate this condition and help produce a smooth bore, full size, and problem free hole. While well, geometry, particularly the annular clearance between the hole and the various drill string components, but also the internal diameters in the drill string can affect hydraulic performance, torque and drag characteristics, and other drilling parameters. Sizing the drill string based on target depth and hole size requirements is thus an important aspect of well planning. Thank you for your attention. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel in order to help us produce more content like this one. See you in the next video presentation.